Hello and welcome to episode 6 on this RBS5. In the last episode I built the curved track that takes the balls from the bottom to about here and that's as far as I got. Today's episode I'm simply going to carry on building the outside track using a frame that I haven't designed yet in order to support the track um, and it, as it gets high it's getting a bit wobbly so it's got to be kind of strong and secure and stable and um, just like the British economy <laughs> and it will take the balls from about here up to about there so stay tuned let's get going so I made three more of these twisted copper rope struts and I'm just thinking I'll drill one in here one in here one in here keep them in line with the inner three and then build a kind of sloping support between them and from there run some angled and horizontal struts up against the outer track like that and if all this wobbles I'll probably put some diagonals in to support these so kind of making a really weird kind of rugby post type system around the outside. There's the three uprights all nicely in. And I'm just considering what to do next. I could do a straight, which is just a plain piece of wire, or I could do a curly wire and do a straight here and another one here. Or I could do a curly wire, uh, sorry, a curved wire that's like this. Now this is actually quite nice. So this makes it look, uh, it emphasizes the fact that I've got a curved track over there so I'm just wondering if I might do that. So I'll have a little think. The really good thing about making sculptures is I have total design control. Whatever I think of I can do and sometimes I think for months and months and months and months and months about something and then do it or change my mind at the last minute. And sometimes I just work on the fly, so whatever I think about of doing, I do. But that's looking quite nice.
And now I've done a pretty good job of making wires that hold up the outside track. But now I'm thinking archway. I think I'm just going to solder on these arches to the verticals. I'm going to unwrap a little bit of this curly wire and a little bit of this and join it on so it almost looks like a tree branch that's growing over in the archway. I think I need three to go over the curved track. And then I've got a fourth one round here, this one here, which will support the upright that's in the middle. Sometimes my ideas are better than my practical skills. And I think that the four solder joints I've just done don't look very nice at all. Um, it's all a bit rubbish. So I'm going to cut off here and here and here and here and just have the arches coming out of the top of the uprights. So that way there'll be no tail. It will look nice and clean, just like a croquet hoop. And I can make them all look really good. So I've done half of the hoops, but I'm now going to start again. There we go, that's the first one done, and I think once that's cleaned up, that will all look a lot better. Well, I've got all three arches now soldered on top of the verticals. They're really good because I can set the correct track spacing of the curve just by pushing these together or pulling them apart. And that's really a useful feature for in the future if anything wears or moves slightly when it's in the museum. So the tracks are done. The balls now travel all the way from the bottom all the way to the top without falling off. Obviously when they get to the top I've got to catch them because there's nowhere down. And I'm absolutely delighted with how well it looks. It, it's bigger than anything I've ever made. It's more beautiful than anything I've ever made. It is strong, it is reliable, it is clever. I still think it's unique, but let me know down in the comments if you think you've seen this, been, seen this version done before. And I'm just really, really, really chuffed. I can't wait to get rid of the paper, because that's always a bit ugly, and start the downhill process and um, work out exactly where the balls are gonna go.
Well, that's it for this episode. Please comment and like and share and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next episode when I will start the downhill track. <laughs> Bye.